Hello everyone, I welcome you back to this another session on ethics short case studies. Today day 8, we are discussing about various case studies that will be helpful for you in your upcoming mains. Okay, so let's start with today's one. It's a very short case study which I have taken it for today. Let's start. Today the topic will be the virtue versus catastrophe. Let's start. A fresh engineering graduate gets a job in the prestigious chemical industry. She likes the work, the salary is also good. However, after a few months, she accidentally discovers that highly toxic waste is being secretly discharged into a river nearby and this is causing health problems to the villagers downstream who depend on the river for their water needs. She is perturbed and mentions her concerns to her colleagues who have been with the company for a longer period. They advise her to keep quiet as anyone who mentions the topic is summarily dismissed. She cannot risk losing her job as she is the sole breadwinner for her family and has to support her ailing parents and siblings. At first, she thinks that if her seniors are keeping quiet, why she should stick out her name? But her conscience pricks her to do something to save the river and also the people who depends upon it. At her, she feels that the advice of Silence given by her friends is not correct, though she cannot give reasons for it. She thinks you are a wise person and seeks your advice. What arguments can you advance to show her that keeping quiet is not morally right? First question. Second question, what course of action would you advise her to adopt and why? So here we have been given with a solution. So the case study has been given to you. The situation has been given to you about what you will do in such number of circumstances. So let's start with the solution today. Recharging toxic waste to the river, which is a source of drinking water for villagers, will injure their health. Surely, if I am directly drinking water from a river where chemicals are directly getting exhaust out from a factory or from a fertilizer industry, obviously that will be a polluted river where the toxicity of the river is very much large and this will impact the health of the individuals who are drinking the water without any refining. So therefore, but the villagers are aware of the same since the consumers and friends are discharged secretively. When she knows that an act is harming innocent people, it becomes her moral duty to alert the villagers. So it is directly your morality, that is your virtue, which is the highest standards of your morality, to go ahead with the villagers, talk to them and warn them against the harmful effluents getting released in the rivers daily from the respective industry. If one becomes cognizant of all illegalities, especially within an organization, one is working, it becomes our legal duty to inform the authorities. Otherwise, one will be colluding, though not directly, in an illegal act. At a minimum, the villagers have to be tipped off so that they can at least take preventive steps to protect their health. So obviously, if you cannot change the situation of an organization, one can go ahead to do some of the activities so that it may change the scenario for the respective villagers who are really under trouble from the affluence coming in from the industry. So therefore, this is the main demand of the question number eight. If I go with the second question, as she cannot afford to lose her job, she has to treat cautiously and indirectly. She can ask our reliable acquaintance to approach local authorities to test the river water quality. Because if the river water quality is tested and it has been clearly defined that this is purely polluted river, then at some point of time I can directly say that the state government authorities or the respective river control, river pollution control board authorities may directly make some of the pure legitimate actions against the industry. So therefore, he or she should not bring her name into the matter. She may be a whistleblower. Okay. Obviously, she may act like a covert person who is not revealing her personal information as her job is at risk. As a measure of abundant caution, he or she may in turn request another person or group to approach authorities for testing the river water quality and to stay in the background, she should not sign any applications to fill any forms. So, kuno application of ticket or sohi thakibo na lagibo? Kuno application of you could not sign directly just because you are really under trouble from your organization if your name is revealed who has complained the authorities about the river pollution. Okay, so to stay in the background, she should not sign the application of forms. 
she can also discreetly find out if the villagers are suffering from any water pollution related diseases or not jodi kisuman pollution related disease take a color hoise ekhini bostu eta proof boni jabo je yes this has been basically coming in from the polluted river which is basically polluted from the chemical fertilizers which are getting released from the industry so etu ami sabo lagibo the local phc that is a primary health center can be alerted through third parties about the source of pollution and the phcs will get the water tested okay then also we can see about authorities will force the company to stop dumping toxic waste so as is jodi moi kobo jao about the toxic waste which is getting released into this particular water river sources jimane beshi river sources not add hoy goi jabo himane beshi toxic water kini boni jabo and once the toxic level rises obviously we have to think not only for the villagers also we have to think at the life below water that is the fishes or any number of life that is existing within or below the river system to ekhini kotha bhabi ami jodi villagers kotha bhabi jodi ami basic e yate kono kotha ba kono action nolo and we should not report to the respective authorities then your virtue is at risk so you have to show your high standards of morality at this particular case so that you can directly go ahead with the proper phenomenons of discharging this particular waste in a very clean and clear or refined manner so that was about the whole case study which we have discussed today we will bring out some of the mock case studies until some of the further days so stay tuned with us and please subscribe our channel csa Thank you all.